You're gonna remember this guest right here because he received over 9 million views on show, social media and nearly 15,000 comments after wanting to know if he was too picky when it came to dating women. Watch this. All right, I've been single 10 years. I'm having trouble finding the right woman. You know, it could be petty things turn me off from she says something stupid or house is dirty. She got raggedy feet. Uh, you know, or she's too career oriented, you know. But you know, at this age, I'm looking for not a temporary thing, but a permanent thing, you know. Uh, but do you think I'm being too petty? And can I get over the pettiness and overlook things and ease back a little bit? Uh, uh, how old are you? 50. <laughs> See, like a woman would look at you and might want to fix some stuff. She might not like a little male man shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the cue card lady so mad, this is what she wrote. Donovan, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. So you just went from the mailman to just... <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna do Coming <laughs> to America with... with yeah. Wakanda? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> now, after seeing yourself on TV, man, and kind of watching how people responded to you, what, what, what was your reaction to all of that? Well, to me, it was pretty funny, because, uh, first of all, starting with the wrinkle thing, Anybody that knows me knows I'm obsessed with ironing. I'm also a nurse. I put creases down the front, the middle, the sleeve. Anyway, I rushed here that day. I had a job interview. I still hadn't unpacked. I just moved here that week. And I went to an interview for a nursing job and got the job and then ran here real quick. Yeah. So I went on with wrinkles and everything, so I'm gonna just have fun. Okay, based on what you said, how did your family and friends respond to all of this? Oh, man. My mom called me from D.C. like, Baby boy, was that you on TV? I said, oh, yes, ma'am, it was, it was me. I, I, you know, my brother had put something on Facebook, reposted it, talking about he don't speak for all the men in the family, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> they was distancing they self. Yeah, I had to get them turn it, cut, cut that down. I had to get them turn that off. Well, too. let's see what some of our viewers had to say about this. Oh, Lord. Uh, Chris says, uh, 50 in age, 15 in the mind. Humble yourself and have a seat. <laughs> Elizabeth says she may not like your 11-inch forehead. <laughs> well, you fixed that with that cap today. <laughs> uh, there was also some positive feedback as well. Barbara says, I'll iron, cook, clean, and anything else for him. Send him my way. All right. Yeah. All right. Then Howard also says, this is what 50 years with no woman will do. May you look like you're 35. Stay single, my brother. Stay single. <laughs> all right, all right. We really back because the producer said that you kind of wanted to redeem yourself. And so what would you like to say this time that you didn't get a chance to say the first time? Oh, well, you know, it's not all about the physical attraction, which is... Maybe what it seemed like I was all about. You know, I like women that are smart, fun, beautiful, you know, and love the Lord, of course, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. One other thing I got slave for was saying women being too career oriented. I didn't mean I didn't want a woman that worked hard. I said that, well, what I was trying to say is there needs to be a balance. Sometimes couples get too caught up in what they're doing and forget about each other. But you know, we don't want no broke woman either. Cause we want yeah. stability. What are you about? We want the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no broke woman either. Well, make some more money then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring you back on the show. And I'm gonna take, since we got so many views. I'm gonna have women email who are interested in getting to know him. Oh, cool, thank you. Then oh, the producers are gonna go through everybody and pick who they think are the best suited and we are gonna bring three. That's be a good thing. Our next guest went viral after appearing in a digital exclusive, Hey Steve, 
and stated that she always received positive results from the man she was dating after being rude to him. So after nearly six million views online, we brought her back to find out if this method's still working for her or not. But first, let's take a look at what she said that caused many of you to lose your mind. So I'm currently single. <laughs> and I'm dating. But there's one that I like, like more than the rest. But we have an issue. I'm really mean to him. Like, I'm really mean to him. Like, okay. I insult him all the time. And he loves it. Which is fine, it works, but then, cause like the way that I think is, is that if you are not, if you don't put these guys on check, they think you stupid. <laughs> and he ignores me when I'm nice to him, but if I mean to him, he, he talks to me. So like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anybody ever asked you, was you crazy? <laughs> All the best ones are crazy. <laughs> You're mean to a man and he likes it. Likes it. Let me tell you something about men. We will tolerate crazy to get what we want. See this crazy you pulling? He taking it right now because he wants something. You're mean to the guy. He likes it. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 he don't. He like what he think is going to get him. Hey, Valentina, how you Hi. doing? Good, how are you? So, okay, what, what, what happened to make you think that men like you being rude to them? You know, I just don't let anyone walk all over me. Like, if someone says something to me that I don't like or I disagree with, I just, like, make it clear and I let them know, like, this is not okay or this is not. And sometimes, unfortunately, like, when you want to get your word across, you have to say it in a way so they get it. And... Hurting their feelings works, but then they like it, you know? Like, they think it's like, oh, like, it's, it, oh, you're, you're spicy. I like that. So I kind of use the reverse thing. It's like, you're mean to them, and they come around, you know? So, whatever. Where's, where, where's the guy that you were rude to? Um, I, he, he did something annoying, and I didn't like it. So I just played Time Is Up from Poppy and blocked him. Oh, listen to me. Being mean is a, isn't an accident. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an intent. Right. It's a defense mechanism. It is, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm a hairstylist. That's my li line of work. So I do hair, and I work with a lot of women, and I hear so many stories about what happens to them, and I think I probably, like, internalize it because I don't want that to happen to me. Let, let me ask you this. How has being on the show, how has that impacted your life? Did any of your friends think you were too aggressive? Some of my, my women friends were like, no. No what? You're not aggressive at all. You're fine. Okay, and you, you need a new group of friends. No, no, no. you really I do. love my group of friends. No I, no, I know you love them, but you love them because they agree. You need some people who would tell you the truth. Well, right, right, that's what I was gonna get to. But my male friends were like, look, Val, we know you, so we know how you are. You're very blunt, you're to the point and stuff, but like, you can't always be like that, you know? You could get your point across without being so mean. I mean, you can. You can actually get more across. I know. Wouldn't you like to be special to somebody? Yeah, someday, but it's not like I live my life um, with thinking that, oh, I need to be special to somebody. I'm but special regardless. I just feel like, you know, if I meet somebody that I like and that I, we click with, I want them to accept me for who I am. I may not be the easiest person to deal with, but I'm glad that I am that way. See, that, all, all of that you say saying sounds good for you. Right. It doesn't sound good for the people involved. I think you're blowing who you really are. I think you're a really smart lady. I think you're very educated. I think you're very ambitious. And I think you want something in life. You just don't want to be hurt. But nobody wants to be hurt. But you got to let something go so you can have something. Right now, you're playing the game like this. No man can get in. The real you is in there. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.